Howdy y'all and welcome back for some more State Dedicate 2 action. Today we're going to take a look at the bounties that are leaving the vendor on October 1st. Hello there. General Kenobi. World War II pack will be getting retired at the 1st of October. Let's start off with the two clothing items, which are the Aviator Helmet Vintage and the Combat Helmet Army Green. For the Aviator Helmet Vintage, pretty snazzy addition to any wardrobe. Even comes with the original goggles. Only takes killing seven screamers with explosive. Should be fairly easy to get. Next, let's take a look at the Combat Helmet Army Green. Definitely a World War II looking helmet. This one's pretty easy. All you gotta do is drive five kilometers. So pick that one up and it'll be done while you're working on the others. There you go. Both are pretty snazzy and it shouldn't take too much to get either. And if you're a clothing hoarder like me, should I say wardrobe hoarder? Uh, I'm always gonna keep adding to it whenever I get a chance. Next is the antique German French tool. It's a bladed weapon that looks like you're swinging a big pizza spatula at him or something. Killing seven zombies in close combat is what you need to get this bad boy. And I have to say, I kind of like it. If you're enjoying this, please hit the like button. YouTube likes that and it pushes my video out to other audiences. Thanks. Next item is the MP40 submachine gun. It's classified as an assault weapon, takes 9mm rounds, has 31 in the magazine, and is essentially a fully automatic weapon. Bounty on this is to craft 220 rounds or bolts. This thing is not exactly made for silence, but it's a crafting one, so you can usually knock those out right away. Next up is a heavy melee weapon, the tank hammer. It's like most heavy melee weapons. The bounty on this is to kill a juggernaut with a heavy weapon. Let's be honest, the skin on this thing isn't anything to write home about. The weapon isn't any different than any other heavy weapon and most of the other ones look a lot cooler. With the aggravation of what it would take to get the bounty done on this, I'd save this sucker for last, if you did it at all. Next is a 7.62 millimeter FBI fighting rifle. Classified as an assault weapon, uses 7.62 rounds, has 40 in the clip, doesn't have an option to shoot single fire, and generally just unimpressed me with both juggernauts and ferals. The bounty is to kill 80 zombies with assault weapons, so it, it's not that hard if you want to add it to your inventory. I doubt I'll ever use it again. It'll just sit in there in case I need to make another video. Howdy y'all, Blanick here. If you're still watching and not a subscriber, I'd humbly ask you to hit that subscribe button. This video in particular took over 30 hours to shoot and edit. That's a lot of time and wife aggro, I might add. So please, it costs you nothing, but means the world to me. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy my content. Next, we have another assault weapon, and it's Ceremonial M1A1 Thompson. It takes 45 caliber rounds, has 30 in the clip. Without a suppressor of some kind, it is extremely loud. It brings in everything. A bloater! You can even see the stuff coming from over the hill. To get this, you need to recruit one survivor. I did it with a, an alternate community. In the eighth spot is yet another assault weapon. The Danger Dog PPSH-41. This is basically a 51 mag 9mm gun. It has the benefit of being able to switch to single fire if need be. Despite its looks, it really is nothing more than a 9mm weapon. It performs no better against juggernauts or ferals. And in the end, I switch back to my normal weapon. The bounty is to kill 10 bloaters with pistols. You should be able to do that in your sleep. Uh, the only difficult thing about it is making sure that you've got equipped something classified as a pistol and not a revolver or something other. Last but not least, we have a revolver at the 9th spot, OSS Silent Knight. 
It's a 45 caliber revolver with a built-in silencer. The bounty is to kill 65 Plague Zeds with revolvers while crouched. Now, it takes a little bit of planning and adjustment, but not impossible. This one might take a few minutes to get done, but it's a nice little 45 caliber revolver when most of your other stuff are 9 millimeters. A couple of honorable mentions, as they're listed as part of the pack, are the Grease Gun and Gangland Strad. They're both 45 caliber and drop in the world, not part of the bounty vendor. Both are good pickups if you can get them. Coming next month is the Fearsome Footage Pack, so you'll get opportunity to get all kinds of Halloween-y type stuff. That being said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.